content like vlogs and stuff that I'm gonna still be doing, but I'm just gonna branch out a little bit. Maybe talking about some musicals. Ha <laughs> ha! Oh, a year, and now I'm about to freaking go to university. Oh, how the tables turn. How naive I was one year ago when I made that YouTube anniversary video. Little did I know time would pass so quickly, so quickly that I would forget how to make a YouTube video. <laughs> but fear not, this time we're doing a year in review, which means, <laughs> which means I will be talking about university. Now, this is going to be fully centered around me. <laughs> this will be fully centered around me and my experience, which could be translated to yours. Um, this is mainly for people who have done the IB and who who uh, are international students coming into the UK specifically. Specifically to Bristol. Yeah! This year has been very odd because I was in University of Bristol for not that long. Um, this this past academic year, I think I was I was uh, I was back home more than I was in in Bristol uh, due to um, the pandemic. <laughs> also, guess what? Uh, no, I am no longer friends with iMovie. Friendship ended with iMovie. New friend. Final Cut Pro. Yes. I still don't know how to use it. Um, anyways, so. University. University of Bristol. First of all, my first year was last year and I'm doing theater and performance studies. As you can tell. To everyone who's about to go to university, specifically to those who have just done the IB, in a lot of ways it is the same, but in a lot of ways it is not. Essays. Whatever, whatever thing you're taking, essays. If you did the IB and you didn't think about essays, and you didn't put in that much effort, ha ha, you are going to get held to gunpoint by the academics police referencing bibliography. You might have to change from, what did I do last year? From, from MLA to Chicago. No big deal, if you, if you, if you know how to write essay, You'll, you'll get it in the bag. But if you don't, don't worry. There's so much time to learn. There's so many resources. The library, will, most likely the library at your university will help you do citations and stuff. But if you're shy, like me, you can always look it up online. There's so many different guides. And I was doing it in such a concern. Mace, I'm filming a YouTube video. Talking to my dog. Hmm. Mace. Anyway, so um, going from high school to university, very different, but in very some ways very the same. Academic, you might have to, it might be harder. The academic aspect might be harder or it might not be. In my case I didn't find, uh, I found, I found what we were learning to be easy to understand. I learned some things. Um, I didn't, I, it, for me it was more like managing my time that was an issue and you know getting all the research in. But it wasn't that difficult personally. Um, so you might find it might be more difficult you might find it's not. But there's going to be something. If a if academics aren't hard for you, something will be. Something will be difficult, and that's a threat. Because high school and uni are not the same. No longer are the days where you you are secluded to like uh, uh, how many people are in a high school? I don't know, twenty people. I don't know. No longer are you secluded with the same amount of people. No, 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 no. You now have so many people to meet. People on your course. Who cares about them, am I right? <laughs> there are people from societies you'll meet, people you'll, you'll meet and then never see again. Especially during Freshers' Week. Now, I don't know in the digital age how things will change. And that's the secret. Societies may still meet up, but it might be different. It might be different. So it's not the same and you will struggle somehow. Does that make you feel nice? <laughs> now for Bristol. <laughs> Number one, I don't know anything about Bristol. I lived there for half a year. I, I, I know nothing. I, I feel no difference. Zippo. That's a lie. Kind of. But I don't know Bristol very well. And that's fine. You might not find out much about the city you live in. Because you might be shy like me. For international students. Prepare yourself for a cultural shock. Cut. 
Prepare yourself for a culture shock. The moment I got to Bristol, I thought I'd be fine. You don't know what, 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 uh, the day before my parents left. You know what shocked me? You know what scared me to my bones? Was seeing kids, was seeing school kids walk around in, in school uniforms. That freaked me out. I, the moment I saw that, I was like, they mm, did bring, bring me back home. This instant, the culture is too different. But I got over it quickly. But the culture shock might be much bigger for someone else. The homesickness. <laughs> Within the first two weeks, you'll be fine. Maybe. But you'll be bombarded with so many things to do. But you'll be bombarded with so many people to meet, so many things to do. Ugh, I'm buying my groceries. What do I buy? I've never fed myself before. But then, the two month mark sets in. And you're like, man, this sucks. I'm so homesick. No, it doesn't matter if you live. 20 minutes away, doesn't matter if you live hours away, you will feel homesick. Fear not, it happens to everyone. Have a chat at midnight in the kitchen with your friends. Drink some tea. Express your emotions. The course, very interesting. You, w you would like, you should take a course you're interested in. And if you're not, fear not. <laughs> so many people hate themselves and so many people hate the course they're taking. You will find <laughs> You will find someone just like you. But yes, you will feel lonely. You will not escape the loneliness. And you will not escape the stress and anxiety and fear. There will have times where you're like, I should be living my 20s. I should be going out and doing things and meeting people. And yet you are in your room watching Netflix and that's fine. Everyone else is doing that. Everyone else. Advice. Don't compare yourself to others, but you will. Because uh, that will happen. And if you do compare yourself to others, try to compare things that you have in common. Like, oh, that person is so talented. Wait a minute. So am I. I don't know how that helps. I won't even take my own advice. I lived in Clifton Village last year. I lived in halls, specifically Manor Hall. 10 out of 10. Well. I don't know if I'll give it a 10 out of 10, but it was pretty great. Um, if you're looking at where to live, I think it's a bit late now, but if you're looking for it, if you want to know how it's going to be to live in Bristol, there's three residential areas. There's Clifton Village, the city center, and there's the other place. What is it called? Oh, I have been so long. I'll put it up here. It's the one that it's the one up, up north. So if you want to go to the one up north, I I don't I know a few people from there. Mixed reviews. I've heard mixed things. There's so many different types of accommodation up there. There's like the really expensive ones, and then there's the budget ones. But one thing I have uh, that's been in common is it's it's far away. It's not that far, but it's a 20 minute bus ride. So you're gonna have to wake up early to get to your classes kind of sucks and if the bus is late which it might be that's gonna suck too so you have to plan around it if you go out at night well don't go out because it's corona season but if you do you might get screwed as well I'm um, trying to get back home wouldn't you rather just walk home from 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 the pub walk home from the house party and be like oh I only live five minutes wait no you live 40 minutes away by foot some people really enjoy it it's a tight community um, I still don't remember the name of this place <laughs> You have to you have to go find a better YouTuber than me to ask those questions. Um, the city center heard great reviews from it. You're in the center. You have access to all the things, but you have to walk up two big old hills. <laughs> you have to walk up two big hills. Daily exercise to get to campus. So if you like doing that, I have heard um, I have heard that some of the accommodations are kind of far apart, so you might be more lonely. I don't know. I don't know. Uh, but some people have made great friends, like in Riverside, I've heard people living in Riverside. They have, uh, they have those three buildings, you know. I don't know, you have to see. It's gonna be more noisy down there. Um, and then there's Clifton Village, which is where I live. Great. Not far from campus, but it wasn't in a city, so it wasn't too noisy, except for the people going out. But that's fine, we all expect that. I didn't have to walk up a huge hill. 10 out of 10 for me. Um, I liked Manor Hall a lot, because it was... It had a fancy name, 
and there was a music room. <laughs> and boy, did I use that. I used that music room to practice for my auditions. It was a great time. We had a little common area, we had a little living room, we had a library. <gasps> we, had a, ooh, we had a library. I didn't have to go to, I did not go to a single library last year. I did not go to a single library on campus because I refused to walk up the hill. I did not have to go to a single library to study because I had one in my accommodation. Perfect. Amazing. Beautiful. That was great. I went down my pajamas, my pajama jammy down. Uh -oh. I walked down, got my tea, and then I, I would work for like a bit. You know, and I got my essays done. Thank you. Uh, Manor Hall's great. Love her. Very beautiful. Clifton Village is very pretty, though it's expensive. My video cut out again. I forget this every time. My camera can only record 20 minutes at a time. <laughs> I was talking about Manor Hall. I lived with 18, uh, 17 other girls. That was interesting. Uh, it was great. We all got along. But uh, I don't think any of us were expecting that. Some surprise might ha happen. You might end up in a, in a hall like that. Um, normally Manor Hall is like only five people per flat, whatever. I don't know. Uh, but not for us. But it was great. <laughs> if you're my flatmate, comment down below. I don't know. You don't have to. It was great. Uh, we had fun. Uh, we had. I had a. Oh, I had some raclette nights in my kitchen. Raclette. Woohoo! Uh, we did a pumpkin carving time. It was great. Some of you might like your flatmates. Some of you might not. I hated mine. I'm joking. I did not. Manor Hall. It's very close to the student union. So is. So are the other uh, Clifton Village buildings. One thing to know about Manor Hall, though, is that if you apply for it, you might end up in one of the annexes, which a lot of people did not expect. A lot of people did not expect this would happen to them. Uh, the annexes are smaller. They're not- the rooms are not the same size as Manor Hall. It does say on the website that this might happen, but a lot of people did not read that print. So, be aware. If you live in the annexes, you will have access to the washing machines, everything, but you will not be on the same- you'll be on a little different building. So know that. Very close to the student union. Excellent. I spent a lot of time at the student union for rehearsals. Um, I never studied there because there are too many people. But it's a great place to do rehearsals um, and for societies to meet up. In the UK, if you don't know this, in the UK you do not have a roommate unless you do. <laughs> some people have to have a roommate because there's some shared rooms. So be wary. You might have to do that. So be prepared. But you most likely will not have to. Does that make you feel better? In societies. Join the societies. But don't get overwhelmed like I did. Because I sure did. <laughs> I was like, I spent all my time in high school doing musicals. I need to stop. I need to do something else. I need to join. I need to get to know different people. <laughs> guess what I did? I'll, I'll let you get take a good guess at what I did. Music. Music. Musical theater society. Day in, day out. And was it great? It was fantastic. We did a few shows. That was great. I enjoyed it very much. Um, I, I, this is very, this is sad, but midway through November, I'd say, I was not doing very well. I was feeling very lonely, scared. And then I decided to sign up to a bunch of different shows. And then I went to one of them, and it, it helped me so much. I met some cool people, and it made me feel much better about myself. So, you know, you might end up doing the things that you used to enjoy and you might start something new. For example, I joined pole fitness. Have I ever done that before? Absolutely not. But did I enjoy it? Yes, I did. I used to do Taekwondo in high school. I joined the Taekwondo Society and I got scared immediately. I didn't go to many of the sessions, but I went to one or two and you know what? That's how, that's how the cookie crumbles. I went to one tap class. I've never taken tap a day in my life. They already had their whole choreography down and I was back in the class doing my own thing. Doesn't matter, no, no one cares. You can meet someone and never meet them again, so you can make a fool of yourself. I went to the game society. So much fun. I won a board game. I won a game. You know? We did a we did a we did a, what is it called? One shot uh, we did like a one shot RPG. It lasted nine hours. It was great. We didn't have any water in that room. Dehydration. A plus for me. Don't get stressed about committing to a society. If you're doing a show, you'll have to commit. If you join like something like acapella, you'll have to commit to the group. But, you know, it's 
pretty much low commitment for the rest of them. You, I was very stressed about missing out FOMO. I was very stressed about joining a society midway through. Surprise, they don't care. You can show up, no one will care. No one will be like, ew, stinky. You joined the, uh, you joined the dog society too late. No, you're a fake dog fan. I went on one of the dog society walks. I arrived very late, so I only saw a few dogs. It was great. I saw Dalmatian. I saw two small dogs. It was very fun. Lots of events at Student Union. Again, uh, my thoughts on the future with online stuff. Scary, spooky, don't know what's gonna happen, but looking forward to seeing what will happen. Um, there might be online events. I probably will not show up to them. <laughs> Personally, I, online stuff, social online stuff, doesn't doesn't work on my brain. It stresses me out. If I have to go physically somewhere to be in a social situation, it stresses me out too, but once I'm out, you know, I'm I'm walking. If I'm in my room and I have a Zoom call, I can just be like, Sorry, busy that day. So, you, who knows what's gonna happen? Who knows how fresh this is gonna be? Who knows how classes are gonna be? I don't, I don't have the answers. I only have my experience from last year. We're all very spooked, but this is a time to get creative. That's what they all say, don't they? And you know, maybe some of us got a little bit creative, maybe some of us didn't, and that's fine. I'm doing this video now. I haven't made a video in a long time. Just have fun, do something. Um, if you're feeling low on yourself, have a dance party in your room. Definite 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10. University is a strange place. It is great in some ways and then horrible in others. You know? It's fine if it doesn't turn out the way you thought it would. Plenty of people change course after the first year. Plenty of people drop out. Plenty of people do other things. You know, it's not, no judgment. This is for theater students specifically. I don't know if they will have this next year. But we got the opportunity to help the 30 years on their show. Take it. Take the opportunity. I did more stage management stuff there than I got to do in my course. I got to do stage management with my course, but that, that was, this was spicy. I got to be on the fly floor, pulling things up and down, got to help with the set. I was, you know, assisting the stage manager. I would recommend doing it. You learn a lot. If you have something like this in your course where you can help the 30 years or get involved, do, do that very cool you're around different people you get to know people who are at a different stage in their life who are preparing to do something new again i don't know how that's going to happen next year i don't know what's going to happen take place hopefully uh we won't have to do online learning forever but if we do we have to adapt to it and it will be interesting online theater what is that we'll have to find out you're gonna not like sundays but just get through it and then have a party in your room dance party um, paint, do some drawing, uh, do, join a sports society, join volleyball, I don't know. Bristol University is a city university, remember that? There is a campus, but it's not like a campus like Exeter, it's not like a campus like Warwick, it's in the city. Be aware. You'll be walking by all to different people, there's not just gonna be students, okay? You're in the city. I like it. Sometimes I wish I was on a campus to get that campus feel. But I'm not. Luckily, the theater department is not on campus, so I don't have to walk up that hill. So, but it depends on what kind of vibe you want. Bristol University is a city university, not campus. Did I make myself clear? You will have to learn how to budget, how to manage your money. That's difficult. I spend so much money on takeout. Bad idea. There's so many free trials going on right now. I, I bet you that Adobe has something going on. If you want to try Photoshop, do it. See if there's free programs uh, for your school, free little courses. Try them out. Who knows? Who knows what will happen? You might become an amazing programmer. You might learn how to code. You might uh, get into uh, lacrosse. I don't know. Is that real? Who knows who you'll become? You'll do something cool. Great. You you can become the, the, the next, uh, uh, I don't know, something cool. You can become the president of the club that you make. You can make a you can make a society. Do it. You can just put on a show, direct a show, whatever. Just show up, do your best, ask for help, let your emotions out, experiment, have fun, don't take things too seriously, take your own advice, look at myself, and relax, and don't beat yourself up over things. I think I've covered it all. 
So, as we all know, I've changed a lot this year. And this channel has changed a bit. And it's going to continue to change. I don't know how long this channel's gonna last. It's a fun little project for me. We'll see what happens. Anyways, we'll see what happens in a year's time. Maybe I'll have very cool hair next year. Maybe I'll have a completely different look. I will become the most famous YouTuber in the world. Or not. I don't know. It <laughs> it's your big thigh Gemini signing out. What an ending, am I right?